Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Monday, March 26. Well, Friday was a record breaker in many parts of the Mid-Atlantic region in terms of high temperatures. Philadelphia broke a record at 80 degrees. LaGuardia Airport in New York City broke a record. Central Park tied a record at 76 degrees. And while Reagan National Airport in D.C. did not break a record, they were incredibly warm at 83 degrees. While those days are gone, it looks like we may not have those kind of temperatures for quite some time here in the Mid-Atlantic region, perhaps several weeks, as the pattern is definitely evolving here. We have a cold blast to deal with tonight and tomorrow. And the preliminary look at the beginning couple of weeks of April is for quite chilly conditions possible here in the northeastern part of the country. Well, it's actually starting off as quite a nice morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region with winds that are rather light, but as the day progresses, the winds will increase in intensity out of the north to northwest as this cold blast moves in. Let's take a look at the current surface map. Here is a strong frontal system right now reaching the I-95 corridor. It's moving in this direction and will clear the area over the next hour or two, and here's quite an impressive pressure gradient all the way out to a strong high pressure area in south central Canada. The winds again will increase to 40 miles per hour out of the north to northwest this afternoon tonight and it'll still remain windy tomorrow which will add to even lower wind chill factors. Temperatures tomorrow will struggle to reach 50 degrees in many spots in the mid-Atlantic region and again it'll feel even colder with those strong winds. Now there will be some clear skies later on tonight across the uh, mid-Atlantic coastal region and NASA has rescheduled the rocket launch for the uh, study of the upper atmosphere winds too late tonight, actually around 2 o'clock in the morning, between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the morning, and the sky should cooperate. The question, however, at this point is, will the low-level winds be too strong for that launch? Right now, I would say odds favor a successful launch, five rocket launches late tonight, and we'll have more on that later on here at the SIWeather.com. Well, here's a closer look at the surface conditions here in the northeastern quadrant of the country. And again, there's a frontal system that's cutting right now, right through the mid-Atlantic region. And notice these lines, these are isobars, increasing pressure gradient here just on our doorstep. And that is the, the result of that will be increasing winds later on today. And again, they can gust out of the north to northwest up to 40 miles per hour ushering that cold blast for tonight, and temperatures tonight will drop down to or below freezing in most parts of the mid-Atlantic region. And this is, a, after, of course, a very mild March where a lot of flowers are budding right now, and there could be some damage to some of those early budding flowers and plants uh, later on tonight as temperatures plunge to probably the mid to upper 20s throughout the Philadelphia suburbs and near freezing across the D.C. region and near freezing downtown New York City by tomorrow morning. Here's the latest GOES visible satellite image. There are a few clouds upstate Pennsylvania associated with this frontal passage, but most of those will fall apart and we'll have mostly clear skies in the I-95 corridor today with uh, the winds increasing again. And again, the important area for the rocket launch tonight from Wallops Island is, is from South Jersey all the way down to the Outer Banks. This is the region where they have multiple cameras set up to view this possible launch later on tonight and they need clear skies and again it looks like it should be clear later on tonight so the possibility is I think above 50-50 for this uh, series of rocket launches to take place late tonight that could have put on a light show here in the mid-Atlantic region again we'll have more on that later today at the SIWeather.com. Well let's take a quick look at a couple of computer forecast maps this is the GFS from last night 0Z run for tonight and by tonight, this strong high pressure here in south-central Canada will be the dominant player and will have strong north-to-northwest winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour. And it get qu gets quite cold with temperatures dropping to freezing or even below all the way down into central Virginia. By the way, they had a little earthquake last night in central Virginia, 3.1 magnitude. So again, tonight, temperatures will, for the first time in a long time, drop to or below freezing throughout the mid-Atlantic region, and the winds will uh, contribute to even lower wind chill factors. Now, as has been the case throughout the winter months here, this cold blast will not last too long. This is the GFS map for tomorrow night. By tomorrow night, the winds relax completely as the high really moves towards right along the east coast, up and down the east coast. Winds will be lighter by tomorrow night. And then this frontal system will 
head in uh, for the day later on Wednesday. There's a cold front extending from this low up here in the north, which will be in the northern plains by tomorrow night. That will increase our chance for showers later on Wednesday as we get milder once again. So showers are likely during the afternoon and evening hours, maybe even a thunderstorm on Wednesday. And then that frontal system moves through and we get cooler again for Thursday. So that's it for now from the SIweather.com. I'm the SI Meteor.